Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I thought I'd talk about uh, Ford uh, Power Stroke and uh, other Ford vehicles, their uh, locking hubs. Uh, which way, which uh, direction uh, to put these in? As you can see, these uh, don't have any labels on them. This is a uh, 2006 uh, Power Stroke 6 liter, you know, obviously 4x4. Four four. Um, and uh, I mean, I did some research and uh, which direction to put these in, but uh, so typically there's two different kinds of uh, hubs that will come with these trucks. You have uh, a manual hub, then you have these auto hubs. Uh, it's basically an auto locking hub that uh, is vacuum operated and it will actually lock this hub in. I don't have to manually lock this. I, I have the option to manually lock it. So in case the vacuum operation is not working, uh, I can manually lock this in, in, in place. But, you know, uh, the cool thing about the, the auto lock is that um, I can quickly go in here and uh, turn my uh, 4x4 knob here and put in a full drive and it'll automatically lock the hubs. Um, so another way you can determine if you have auto locking hubs versus manual hubs is, well, typically if you if you don't have that automatic switch to turn into four-wheel drive and you have a manual shifter on the floor, um, then you know you actually have a manual. Most likely, I would say 75, 75 to 80% sure that you actually have a, um, a manual hub that, you know, uh, if it's counterclockwise, then it's unlocked. If it's clockwise up, then you're in manual. So for this, this is an auto-locking. So counterclockwise, that's auto-lock. Clockwise, it's uh, in manual mode. But let me show you this real quick. Another way I figured out that I had automatic locks is that there's a vacuum line that runs into the hub area and you can fall back. So if you're having auto locking problems, just make sure you check those, uh, those vacuum lines. The same thing on that side. So, but let me give you a quick example of. Um, this is my old uh, 1966 Bronco, and this is actually a manual locking hub. So, right now it's set to free, and uh, you know I'd obviously want to lock it if I wanted to go into full drive. But obviously, this is an older truck. This is a 1966, and and as you can see, I don't have I don't have the uh, auto button to go into full drive. So I have to use these twin sticks here. I didn't originally come with twin sticks. I put that on there. But um, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really have a lot. This is my first auto locking vehicle, so I had to kind of figure that out. And they weren't really uh, specific in the in the in the in the owner's manual, like really specific. All right, cool. All right, let me know if you have any questions. What's up, buddy?